Hey guys, welcome to a new video with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and in this video, uh, video I'm going to review the Shuttle Pro, the V2, um, this one over here. Um, I've seen it on the internet about a year ago, and I was curious about how it works and what it does. So I headed over to the Contour Design website, which is the uh, brand that makes this uh, device and asked them to send me one and uh, to review and I just got it yesterday and this device is just like a graphics tablet you connect it to your computer and you assign functions to, to it in this case in Photoshop but you can use it in any software that you're using uh, After Effects, music production, whatever it has wheels, buttons and that kind of things and it's just like a sort of like a mouse but uh, with extra functions and I want to see how it works so next I'm gonna make a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna test it and see how it works so um, we'll see how it how it performs so uh, see you right now as you can see the product comes into this uh, small uh, cardboard box and on the back you can see some of the features that it comes with it works for Mac and Windows as well and uh, you can connect it to your computer via USB it's not a plug and play you have to download the drivers of it as you can see the size is not really that big and it's um, and it's really comfortable to uh, to hold on the hand you can see it has this rest area under the buttons and it's almost like my, the palm of my hand it's not much bigger than a mouse it's not a substitute for a mouse that's important uh, you cannot move the cursor with it it just have uh, it just has these buttons which you can assign functions to to them and uh, you need to dive to download the drivers on this paper you can see uh, on the back you'll find the uh, links to download the drivers from their website and this is a labels sheet uh, with the most common functions that you can assign to those uh, buttons here on the, uh, the, the buttons here on the top and this is a metal jog wheel which you can use for example to change the brush size or uh, the outer one you can use it to um, to zoom in and out it all the driver already comes a set with functions for example for uh, internet browsers you can see you can scroll the page with the wheel so you don't have to set anything it also comes set for uh, software like Photoshop uh, InDesign Spotify and the most commonly used editing software it's already configured for that uh, once you download the driver you can see here on the left side it has all the programs that it already comes set with so all you need to do is just modify uh, modify the functions but the functions are already set for this uh, software list that you can see here of course you can now add your own software if it's not on the list uh, when you update Photoshop, you might have to add it uh, manually because some functions change, and you might wanna, you might need to add Photoshop manually. You can see these are all the functions that you can assign to the buttons. In this case, uh, you can also, for example, in Photoshop, you can copy the settings and uh, assign the same settings to your own version of Photoshop. For example, if you have Photoshop an older version which is not on the list, you can copy those settings add the software manually and then paste the settings uh, paste that uh, those functions on your uh, version of Photoshop and then just modify them the functions are really uh, awesome you have advanced ways of uh, modifying this you can add keyboard shortcuts you can also add macros so you can even use this as a text expander if you want to which is uh, which is really cool if you go to psdbox.com, here you can see the a more extensive review and you can also see a 3D um, version of it. You can zoom in and out and you can see how, uh, how it looks like. I think the build quality is really good on this device. It's small and it's, um, and it's really easy to use. I wish uh, there would be a, a Bluetooth version of it. Um, right now I have to connect it uh, via USB. But um, anyways, I think um, for being such a simple device, I think it's maybe a little expensive, uh, but it has some really good features. And uh, here you can see, uh, you can see it in use. You can see how you can add uh, your own software here. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have the software that you're using here on this list, even though almost the, the entire Adobe family is here. So um, that's cool. Um, you can see how big it is uh, here you can see it's 
uh, working with my graphics tablet uh, works great because uh, you don't need the keyboard so you can forget about a keyboard everything that you need you can set it here and you can add all the functions create new layers uh, zoom in out um, copy paste whatever you want you can set it in here and uh, this little um, label sheet is is great you can uh, just break this little pieces with the labels and put them under this uh, plastic things you can see you can pop them out place your label and then put it back on and you can even have you even have this list with blank labels as you can see I have this for lab for levels for example and you can name your own create your own labels and put them there and and that's it programming the functions is really the the, the strong point of this the device you can uh, make sets of actions uh, which at the press of a button can be uh, uh, can be created so you can make multiple actions and have waiting times be between them in this case uh, this screenshot is for running a, a macro but you can create all sorts of keyboard shortcuts and uh, stuff like that you can see uh, here uh, all the buttons how you can um, change the uh, the action that it performs and for the dial you can uh, for each um, stage of turning the dial you can uh, you can assign a functions to that uh, to that action as well so it's a really cool uh, device to have it really a good complement for a graphics tablet in my case because i'm using uh, photoshop but uh, you can use it for any software uh, i'm using camtasia to um, to edit my videos and uh, as you can see uh, this is a video you can assign functions to any uh, for cutting trimming and stuff like that and i think it already comes with the configuration for for camtasia as well for final cut pro i think as well so um, but uh, setting uh, the buttons here is not really a difficult task um, just click the select the button that you want to uh, to to configure and that's it uh, pressing the button will so automatically select it from the list and you can change the uh, you can change the type of uh, keystroke that you want to perform so uh, i think it's a really cool uh, it's a really cool device to have and i think it's worth paying the money i wish it would be a little cheaper uh, for what it for what it is but i think it's a really cool device so if you already use one uh, please uh, leave your notes on the uh, on the article or on my YouTube video and just let me know your your opinion about this